What's up everybody? I am C and welcome to my video. In today's video we're going to be discussing some of Disney's most prominent conspiracy theories. If my voice sounds a little nasally it's because I'm just getting over a really really bad cold so please bear with me. Anyway thank you again for watching and let's jump right into Disney's most startling conspiracy theories. Growing up, I always had this irrational fear that all of my Barbies and dolls would play at night and blink and, you know, just basically come to life. I don't know if Toy Story traumatized me or what, like, I don't know. Apparently the characters at Disney's A Small World After All ride come to life even when the ride is unplugged. Crew members have said that they see these characters blink and move their heads even when the batteries are out, unplugged, however they turn them on, they shouldn't be moving. Now, this isn't really a conspiracy theory. It's actually true and it's a little weird. People come to the Disney parks to dump the ashes of their loved ones in the rivers or somewhere around the park. This actually happens so often that there's a protocol for Disney employees to take when they feel that somebody is doing this around the park. At least they're trained to handle the matter. The ghost of a former employee haunts Disney's Tower of Terror till this day. A cast member had a heart attack while loading guests onto the ride. Because medics weren't able to get to him quick enough, he actually died in the building. His spirit still haunts the ride to this day. If you want to go check it out, Platform D is supposed to be the spooky spot that even current employees are scared of. This honestly just makes me want to go to that spooky spot. The seance book in Disney's Haunted Mansion was apparently a real book of witchcraft dating back to the 14th century. Why would you use a real book? I don't know. Apparently cast members had the hardest time keeping the book in an upright position. The table that it was on would flip and they would find the book in various places around the attraction. This happened so much so that eventually they ended up replacing the book and everything has been fine since. Is it weird that I want this book? Do you believe spirits can haunt books? Hmm. Now this one is not a conspiracy, this is really true, and the fact that things like this have actually happened at Disney parks lead me to believe that some of these conspiracies could be true depending on what you believe in. A Disney cast member was actually crushed between two walls of Disney's America Sings ride. This was one of the most tragic events to ever happen in Disney Park history. After the incident in 1974, the ride was rebranded and eventually shut down altogether. It was definitely an accident, but the fact of the matter is someone did die on that ride. So I don't even think rebranding it was a good idea. I think like they should have just immediately shut it down altogether. So apparently someone hung themselves on the Small World ride at Disney World. This conspiracy theory is generally assumed to be untrue. While passengers were being evacuated for safety concerns, a woman with her children was taking some last minute pictures of the ride because chances were they weren't going to be able to get back on the ride. When the woman got her footage developed, she found something shocking. One of the images showed what appears to be someone hanging from the ceiling in the ride. Some people think it's a prop and other people believe it to be an actual person. I love the ride Space Mountain. The spirit of a man haunts Disney World's Space Mountain and apparently throws himself off the ride to scare other riders. This is quoted from a former cast member. Mr. Wedway died while helping to build the ride and never got to see it finished. Sometimes he'll actually sit next to you on the ride. When I worked at Disney, we'd have guests screaming saying that there was a man sitting next to them who fell off of the ride while it was in motion. And they were extremely adamant to the fact that there was in fact a man sitting next to them. There were so many reports of this that it became a theory that this man's ghost haunts Space Mountain. That does seem pretty creepy. Imagine being on a roller coaster, sitting next to somebody, and then seeing them fly out. And last but not least, 
Walt Disney was suspected to use Club 33 for Illuminati meetings. Many people believe that Walt Disney was a member of the Freemasons group apparently ran by Illuminati. This was an attempt to establish a new world order because Disney was so popular and attracted many visitors per year, it was not very difficult to establish some sort of control within the park. There's not much out there that I found about this theory. I mean, you can imagine why. I don't really want to get too deep into it. I don't need the men in black knocking on my door. I, I just, I don't have the time. I just honestly think that it's pretty crazy that so many gruesome things have happened in the happiest place on earth. What do you guys think and which one of these conspiracy theories do you think is the most realistic? If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my content, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. My social media is going to be linked down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you back soon.